Hello and welcome to another video walk around by myself, Parker, and today we're going to be looking at a 2015 BMW X5 xDrive 50i. This is a four-door, five-passenger, all-wheel drive SUV in Alpine white, and under the hood, you'll find a 4.4-liter V8 engine and you'll be riding on top of 18-inch alloy wheels. Some of your exterior features include parking sensors, roof rails, four-door proximity key, and a power lift gate for all of your function and convenience needs. Helping us into the X5, we've got our proximity key. Right here we have the lock and unlock buttons, plus we have our trunk latch button, and then we have our panic button as well. So we'll lock up. So we are locked, and you can see that we've got some guiding lights here on all four of the handles, and all four door handles have the proximity key activator on here. So we can lock up by pushing our finger on that little, these little stripes there and then we can unlock by placing our hand inside. So first off, we'll check out the interior. We've got our nice M signature right there, and we've got our leather seats. Then we have our panoramic moonroof as well. And so we'll look at the rear seats as well. Some nice interior, lots of that leather going around everywhere. Plus we have some options back here for our second row as well. So we'll look at our driver's side. We've got all four window buttons, a window lock, and then we also have our mirror adjust and our trunk latch, lock and unlock buttons. And then we have our first indicator that we do have a Harman Kardon system. Nice sound system for us. And just to the left here of the driver's seat, the nice leather right there, we have all of our adjusters here. And we do have two programmable settings for our seat. Just to the left of the steering wheel, we've got our headlight functions right there. Then we can pop in, press the brake, and start the engine. We'll wait until, wait until our beeping is done, and then we'll look through a few things. Now there we go. So here's our instrument panel. Nice and easy to read on here. So we'll look through a few things. We've got all of our different pieces over here. Now this changes as well as we go from sport and comfort. So right now we are in sport mode. You can change that one. We can go to sport plus, which turns our traction control off. Go to comfort. Right there, and then we can go to Eco Pro as well, giving us a little bit more gas mileage. So nice and easy on those parts. We have our cruise control on the left-hand side, and on the right-hand side, this is for entertainment system. You see we have paddle shifters as well for a little more performance. Windshield wipers on the right-hand side, and then we have our signals on the left. So looking at our very intensive and absolutely feature heavy entertainment system controlled right here by this dial right there so we'll look through a whole bunch of different things we can go through multimedia we can check out a bunch of the different options we have there we'll go back we can look at our radio lots of different ones right there telephone we have our Bluetooth on navigation we can just pop over here we can zoom out, we can zoom in, and there we go, that's us. Go back over, lots of information there. And we can pop into reverse, and then we can have this view, we can have a bird's eye view. Change a bunch of our different things here. There's our bird's eye view of the camera. So yeah, a bunch of different stuff. And this is a dynamic backup camera as well. So as I turn the wheel, those green lines will let me know where I'm going. We'll pop it into park. Now it's all safe and sound. We'll back out of this. Lots of fun to, to look through. There's so much in there. I don't even have time to, to begin to dive into it. So. It's a good opportunity for you to come in and get your hands on it and see how you like it. 
we can look at our dual zone climate system right here both operated on these dials and we have our heated seats right here as well and then we have our CD player just below that we'll turn that off two cup holders and then we also have our 12 volt DC outlet right there and like I said we have our little control for entertainment system and then we got lots of information and lots of playing around to do with this guy we can unlock the button put it up into reverse put it into neutral put it into drive you can also put it into manual as well manual and sport mode gives us some really good possibility in there press the button right up here for park and now we're safe and sound we can remove our traction control we have our parking sensor right there we also have downhill acceleration control then we can press this button right there and that gives us different views of our camera right there so we are in park it's all good to go we can open up our center console you can see we have an, an auxiliary right there and then we have our USB and then we have another uh, outlet there with two more USB inputs a little further down we can open up our glove box lots of room in there for anything we might need to pop in and lock it up safe and sound and then we have our controls for our panoramic moonroof right over here turn the passenger airbag on and off and then a couple more dome lights right there now why don't we head back and take a look at cargo before we pop into the cargo area of the X5, a few things to show you. We've got that dual exhaust there on our bumper, and then we also have our parking sensors as well. And just below our emblem, we've got the backup camera. And then we have our roof rails as well. So in order to get into the cargo area, all we'll do is press once. And then this thing opens up really quickly. I didn't actually expect that the first time I did so, but it's very, very quick to open. And so there's our first stage of having our cargo area open. The second stage, all we do is we pull on this lever and now we have a tailgate. So here we go. We've got our tailgate to lean, to sit, to place, anything we might need to on there. And then we also have this guard here to uh, make sure nothing either rolls around, gets muddy, and to keep everything in its spot. And then we have the uh, 40, 20, 40, splitting seat with our privacy screen as well. And here we have some storage space and then right in here is our fuse box. And then we also have a 12 volt DC outlet as well. So nice and easy, lots of versatility in the back. So we'll close right up. All we have to do, push firmly. And then we can press our button and it'll close right up for us. Let's take a last look at our 2015 BMW X5. Some other features include your heated seats, your 10.2 inch display with Harman Kardon sound system, with integrated navigation, bird's eye view backup camera, and Bluetooth connectivity. But there's a whole lot more I didn't get a chance to show you coming in take for a test drive. We're here at Toyota Northwest Edmonton on the corner of 137th Avenue and St. Albert Trail. Thank you again for watching this walk around video. My name is Parker and until we see you, drive safe.